Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. Man, I apologize first and foremost for being really late with this week's Monday Minutes. Um, <laughs> it was a trying week last week. Long story short, I was in a significant bike accident and then the next day sideswiped by a car who uh, hit and ran. And so I ended up having to go to the hospital and having some uh, x-rays and a brain scan. And I'm perfectly fine. Everything's good. You can't see all the problems with me, but I'm I'm covering up pretty good. Uh, and the other thing is I've been preparing like a mad person, uh, getting uh, everything ready for the classes. Uh, Christmas Expo for me begins uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I leave uh, with the family. I'm taking the family now because I'm going to need their help because I, I can't lift right now. But uh, we're leaving tomorrow. We're flying out to Kentucky for Christmas Expo, which we're super excited about. And I begin my three-day X-Lights hands-on training class on Monday through Wednesday. And then I'm vending. And then another all-day class on Friday for sequencing. And then I'm teaching two other courses, a mapping class and a speed sequencing class. And believe it or not... I'm actually going to do a panel discussion with uh, Lights Around the Globe where we talk to people from different parts of the world, what it's like for them to have a light show and what are some of the considerations they have to take based on their geography or culture and all that good stuff. Anyway, so I hope to see you there. Uh, while I'm at it, before I even get into the lesson today, uh, be sure and smash that thumbs up. It helps the channel and consider subscribing. All right, let's get into this. It's getting to that time for our Halloween shows. For those of you that do Halloween shows, and I know there's a lot of you folks that are new that want to use Halloween as sort of like the test grounds. Like if I can get something going on my home with Halloween, uh, I'll feel better about it and I'll feel like I have some practice. I got the controllers, turn the lights on and it actually moved to the, to the music and you feel good about it. And then Halloween transitions into Christmas. And you're thinking, well, okay, how do I how do I get from Halloween to Christmas? Because some of the props may change. You may not want tombstones in your Christmas show, but maybe you're just different and you do. I mean, let's face it, in my show, I use my mini trees in my Halloween show because they're upside down. And, and you can actually see them right here on the screen. There they are. I just put them upside down. And I call them funnels. And they look great. And later, I'll... Uh, I'll add the stars on top and flip them over and uh, they're in the same area of the uh, yard for my Christmas show. But there's a lot of props that you may want to interchange. You may want to change out flakes or uh, I should say you may want to change out uh, spiders for flakes, but you may also have high density props that you want to use in both shows. My goodness, if you if you poked a thousand pixels in a prop, chances are you want to use it for both shows. And this is what I love about the Gilbert Engineering props I have is many of these props I will repurpose in my Halloween and Christmas show. Uh, these guys, all of these up here, the Grand Illusions, the Rosa Grande, the Fusions, they will be in both shows. And you may have like models uh, or even your first year, you might even be daring and bold enough to put icicles in your Halloween show. I do that. I love the way they look. And uh, certainly getting that all tested and done is going to save you time for your Christmas show. But now after Halloween, you've got to start putting your Christmas show together. You don't have that long, right? And so some people really struggle with this. And I want to show you an easy way to take elements, that being models and submodel groups and groups from one show into another. Now, you've seen a lot of videos, you've seen tutorials where I can take a model like this guy right here, a dragonfly, and I can right click on it and I can tell it to export Xlight's model. And I'll say, great, send this dragonfly one to the desktop. Save it. And then it's going to say, great. What groups do you want? Well, I want to make sure it goes in all pixels and all pixels, no yard, if that's where it's at. And I'm going to select all of the sub models. And so this is great. You see where I'm going with this. Anyway, so I'm going to select all these. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to export to the desktop. And when I want to bring it into any show, all I have to do is click on import, drag my box, and go to the desktop and choose that. Okay, 
that's great. And you know, when you do this, it's going to say, great, bring it in. Do you also want to include all the submodels, groups, and this, that, and the other? And you would say yes. Well, that's a lot of steps to take. What if there was an easier way? And there is. And I want to show this to you right now. And this has been around for a while. And I'm always surprised how many people don't know about this. But we can import models and groups from any other show into this show that you have. And it's as simple as being in your layout and right clicking on the background. Make sure you have no model selected. Just double click in the background, right click. And you're going to see you have an option here to import previews, models, slash groups. This is the one you want. If you click this, it's going to say, fantastic. What are you looking for? Well, this is my Halloween show. So maybe I want to bring in something to it and you could do that. But let's first, let's, let's transition from our Halloween show. Let's go into our Christmas show because it looks a little sparse compared to our Halloween show. Here we go. So I'm going to double click on this, expand this up. This is our Christmas show. So maybe we got ahead of ourselves and we at least put some verts on there and some uh, pixel poles. We've got our tree cane, some basic elements, but your mind changed and you added a bunch of high density props for your Halloween show and you decide to put in icicles. So again, if we want to bring some of those elements from one show into this one, uh, right click, import, previews, models, groups. And then you want to navigate to that show. In this case, it's the existing Halloween show. And all you have to do is select the RGB effects file, X lights underscore RGB effects dot XML. When you click on this, it's going to open up another box and it's going to ask you, what is it you would like to bring from this show, the Halloween show, the existing Halloween show into your new show that you may be working on. And you have a bunch of choices here. And so I'm going to kick, click on a bunch of this. I wish there was a way to click on a bunch at one time, but there's not, but I'm going to select all the fusion because this will bring in the sub model groups. So I'll just go through each of these. And what's nice about this is if you have multiples, it's going to grab the multiples, uh, sort of. There's, there's one caveat to this and you're going to see here as soon as I painstakingly go through all of these grand illusion sub model groups, uh, King Dow, I'll leave that alone. We're not going to do all of these for the interest of time. I will go ahead and bring in the Rosa Grande. There we go. Uh, it is very important that at the bottom you choose the main models. We've got the sub models, sub model groups, groups. But we do want to make sure that we bring in the individual models that represent these. Uh, that's uh, fairly important. And so what I'm going to do is go down here. I'm going to look for my icicles too, because I want to bring in the icicle groups. So that's going to be under, and I'm pretty sure I exported those. We're going to find out here in a second if I did, because that would be I, G, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. All pixels don't need that. Da, 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 da. Look at here. There's just so much in this show. So much. And here's my eye. So I'm going to bring over ice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And if there were an Eve's group that you wanted to pull over uh, that wasn't or doesn't exist there, you would go ahead and make sure you bring over your Eve's group because. There are submodels segmented from the icicles to create Eve groups, and then there are icicles. So it's important that you grab everything that you think you may need. And I, here it is, icicles group. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to see. And I've got my individuals. Now, the other thing is, I, I said this a second ago, make sure you pull over the individuals. So if you have a Rosa Grande that's by itself, do that. So I have my grand illusions. I want to pull those over. Now my grand illusions were set up with a shadow model. So I'm going to pull these over 
because of the shadow model. You probably won't have to worry about that, but if you have shadow models and you're gonna have them set up the exact same way in your Christmas show as you had them in your Halloween, you're gonna to wanna to bring them over. Hopefully you just wire your Grand Illusions 250 times four and not have to worry about shadow models. It's not super fun setting up. And I've got uh, tutorials out there that show you exactly how to do that. All right, I think, I think I have everything on here. I'm just giving it one quick glance. It's at least gonna prove the point. We can bring this stuff over. House Verts, eh, we've got that all over there. Okay, now I'm gonna click okay and watch what happens to the screen. Four, three, two, one. Yes, it's telling me it can't read some of that. I don't really care at this point. There's all my shadow models that we'll have to hide later. But here's the cool thing. Because my house layout is the same, the mesh for 3D is the same in my Halloween as it is my Christmas, notice that all the icicles came over and put them in the right place. That's pretty cool. What's missing here are my individual props. I don't see those over here, so I'd want to go back and bring them over. So I'm going to click on, make sure I'm not having anything selected, import previews models groups go back to my existing halloween show double click on rgb effects and make sure that i'm bringing over the individuals which will be in the, the ge so it should be the ge grand illusion they are normally hiding below all the groups so we'll just come down here and make sure we find these individual models it's important that we bring those over for example, there's Grand Illusion 1, Grand Illusion 2. I'm looking for the Fusion. Where are you, GE450? You're gonna be in here somewhere, aren't you? No Starburst. King Diamond, we didn't bring over. Oh, there they are, right in front. Why is it, it's just always right in front of you and you just skip by it. Okay, and the Grand Illusion. Uh, not Grand Illusion, the Rosa Wreath. I know the GE Rosa Wreath, a Rosa Grande. There it is. <laughs> now when I click OK, those should pop up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Might have to uh, grab these and, and, and scoot them up just a little bit. They seem to be hitting there. That's OK. Maybe I'll resize them a little bit. But that's, that makes quick work. The real benefit is how quickly you can bring over models and groups from your first show into your second. What we do for our Christmas show rarely, rarely ever comes to the same fruition we design it with or intend it to look like after we put together a Halloween show. I'm speaking from experience, from doing this, you know, eight years. I, I've never had it 100% the way I intended. It's something that was always either being added or moved. So it's nice to know that you can take existing models and groups from a previous show and bring them over. You can also do this with sequencers. If you get sequences from people and you want to ensure you get all of their groups and their model structure, you can go to their show, import the RGB effects file and bring some of those models over. I think it's a little faster than clicking on the import. I think uh, it's a little faster than using the interweb uh, with the little drop down arrow here, uh, bringing it in. So you let me know, test this out. Just create some fake file names and bring in some elements from your show and let drop me a message uh, and let me know how that worked for you. I hope this has been beneficial. Uh, this is really great stuff. We're getting close to that time for our shows to start. So anything I do to help make it easier for you, I feel good about that. All right. I'm Ron. This is Monday Minutes. Catch you later.